from aquablastfit.com and I'm here to show you my Aquablast, the ultimate underwater punching bag. And I'm going to take it out of the package and show you what's inside. So the Aquablast comes with a nice little carry case, little label on the front, tells you all how to, what it's about. And the bag is inside the carry case, so you pull it out of the carry case. Take away the extra wrappings and paper. I just want to show you what's inside. The wind's kind of blowing a little bit here. But inside you'll find the Aquablast tether, which is in its own little piece here, and a pump. And that's pretty much the main components. And then the Aquablast bag itself. So you see how small the bag is. It folds up as flat as a pancake. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is demonstrate how to set up the bag and how to use it. So, it comes with a small little pump. Now, of course, if you are using this bag all by yourself, you don't necessarily need to use this pump. You could blow it up with your mouth. But for, just to be sanitary about things, this is the other way to use it. It's a small little pump. And the, the valve looks like this. One end screws into the pump. Pretty simple. And that's it. This tip will actually go into the air valve. Now the Aquablast bag has a main zipper on the front, which opens up. You just pull the zipper open. It's kind of like a large mouth. On the side of the bag, you can see that it's got the air valve here, which I'm going to show you how to set up in just a few minutes. On the top, there are two handles for lifting the bag up and kind of pulling it and things like that. And on the bottom of the bag, there's three little uh, fabric things. There's two handles used for lifting and pulling. And then there's another little piece, which I'm going to use at a later point to actually use it for tethering up to the bottom of the pool. So we're still working on that little development, but that's going to be coming later this summer. So anyway, to set up the bag, all you have to do is open up the air valve. It's a little black cap right here. Take the pump, and you take this little brass part of the, of the air pump, and you insert it inside of this little black air valve. Just stick it all the way in and pump it up about 30 times. Now, if you do this by with your mouth, it'll take about two to three breaths. There's just a small donut at the top of the bag that that's allows it to float on the surface of the water. So the reason you want to put the air in first is so that the uh, bag will actually float when you're starting to deploy it and put it together. Okay, so about 30 pumps. That was 30. And you cap it off so the air doesn't come out. Now inside, and you may or may not be able to see it, but there is, you can't really see it, but the, you can see the air chamber in there. It's like a donut that sits at the top of the bag. Okay, so I'm going to reposition this and show you exactly how to fill up the bag. So when you're using the bag, I'm going to put this above water and below water so you can just see it. So once you've got the bag, put a little bit of air in the bag, it'll just float on the surface of the water. So you don't have to worry about losing it or losing track of the bag. Okay, so first thing that you do is, of course, you already filled some air into the bag, into the air chamber. Then you grab the lower handle and an upper handle and just pull the bag underwater and when you do that these big air bubbles start coming out of the bag all right and this zipper area is kind of like a big mouth and you want to kind of open it up maybe use your thumbs submerge the bag and then in about five long sweeping motions you pull the bag through the water. 
This forces water inside of the main water compartment. Okay. Now the bag is almost filled, so what you want to do is to get it completely filled, you just do one more little dunk. So you take the bag and open up the zipper with your thumbs, submerge it about one or two feet, and lift it straight up. And this thing is completely filled with water now, and it sits there and floats on the surface of the water. Hold it by the little finger grips and zip the zipper shut. Make sure the zipper is fully closed so that water is not escaping from the zipper. So if you give it a slight squeeze, you'll be able to feel whether there's water, you'll be able to see whether water is coming out of the bag. Okay, so that's basically how you set up the bag. Now we're ready to rock and roll.